Welcome to Kansas, Jane. Good morning. So, I've been spending this morning trying to go over the footage that I've taken in the last couple of days, and honestly, it's pretty jumbled. It's kind of messy. Um, it's really hard when you like spontaneously start to travel with somebody because I want to film for you guys kind of like you guys are experiencing it like you're here with me and when you're traveling with somebody that's it's really hard to figure out when to pick up the camera they don't really know what they're not supposed to say in front of the camera when they're not a creator themselves they don't know the the, the schedule of it um it makes it makes filming really really difficult honestly but i'm doing it i'm figuring it out so if this vlog is a little messy and it doesn't necessarily make sense. Well, it's because you're not just vlogging with me right now. You're, 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 you're vlogging with her too. And she doesn't know how to YouTube. She doesn't know how to social media. She doesn't know how to do anything when it comes to this type of creation. So, um, we're winging it and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> That's how I am with my van. Like, mm -hmm. my van has basically shown me that I'm capable of a lot. How amazing. We could just oh, we could have drove yeah. over there. Should we move? Is Those that... are tent sites, so we would have no electricity. So wait, let's make a smoothie yeah, first. And we'll go over And there then we'll go over there. Compared to this, our shit was hella ghetto. Like, we had handwritten signs. We were like yelling at people. It's only open for one night. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. <laughs> like, bro, what? Oh my gosh. There's no electric in these sites though, or water. Yeah, but I would just fill up and I would get optimal solar. I don't it would be electric. I have my power pack. Right. Do you want to go come here? I think we're so used to like tiny sites. <laughs> and like we're not used to just walking 10 miles to get a tag. Because our sights were so tiny. It's a mission, girl. We're yeah, doing I it. I think it's right up here, though. Oh, yeah. I think so, too, actually. Yeah. I think we're almost there. We should go. We should keep walking a little ways on the street. And then we can turn around, like I said. Nice. Got this right. 12.75 plus... 22, I mean 10, because there's two of us. There's two vehicles. So 2275. Plus 275 for a processing fee. So 25. So do, yeah, something like that. 25? Like, yeah. Okay. We found golf cart guy. We figured out if we move campsites, it gets cheaper. Yes. And we're just walk, rock, rocking our robes, walking our 10 miles back to camp. We didn't know it was this big. I mean, we drove through this last night, but we didn't, it didn't occur to us that. I knew it was pretty big. I just was like, I think it's right around this corner. Yeah, right around 10 corners. Get <laughs> fined and go to federal prison, prison if you get in this lake. Because of a what? Because of a bug. An insect. Protected. Yes, an insect. An <laughs> insect. And so I, I had made a joke about Jane swimming in that pond and he was like actually she'll get federally arrested he jane thought, would be in prison he thought jane <laughs> was a person jane's a dog there's one thing that i've noticed and this happens with all types of travelers but mainly in my experience it's been car campers they don't necessarily understand that it takes time to break down and get ready to move again like you could have just made breakfast literally and they'll be like okay let's go and they start up their vehicle and you're like 
bro, I got dirty dishes. I got to put away all this crap. Like I can't just start driving. And so that's like the hardest thing when traveling with the car camper. That's the hardest thing is having them realize that you don't move as fast as they move. I need to stop speaking things into existence. So literally right after I filmed that, um, my vintage Starbucks coffee cup was on the back of the U-Haul and she drove off with it on the back of the U-Haul and it shattered. So we're still in learning stages. Very, very much so a heavy, heavy learning stage. Yeah, input. What's the output one for? The output DC is for a DC, like something that would plug in from DC to DC. The little, that, that would be that one, yeah. I don't know what that is. Why do I have all of these? Yeah, if it. you didn't have the solar panel and say you wanted to plug in to that type of port, you would take this off, this, let me just show you. Plugs into there and creates the larger port for you. So, like a lot of vehicles, they have ports back here where you can change it out. So for you, this would be. Oh, they don't That's give you. That's my the, wall charger. Yeah. They don't give you a cigarette lighter. I. Well, this is it, right? Yeah, but there's a, there should be another part. It's probably somewhere within my mess. Yeah. Yeah, just not full sun. It's time to finally get the kayak down. I'm so excited. All right. I had to move the door out the way. Load up. Come on, Jane. Jane, come on. Jane. I know. She, that's what she always does, man. She always does. Okay, guys. This is a wee bit backwards. Just a wee bit. Um, We're going to have to switch this up a little bit, okay? Aw. He's chill. See? They're fine. They're good. Yeah, we got a little gate. You leave Jane alone now, boobies. Here, just come out the front door because I don't want to open that one. <laughs> we decided to leave our kayaks at the campsite. But what I didn't realize is that by leaving, oh, thank gosh, um, I'd never removed the straps from my van. <sighs> They're still here, guys. I still got them. When I was in the coffee shop and I saw this strap hanging from the side of the van, I completely thought that I dropped this somewhere on the highway i was like oh it's gone and i i'm gonna have to figure out how to strap my kayak with one with one strap <laughs> kaylee's mad i guess we're at this coffee shop and the people inside like they started talking shit about me and saying oh somebody should go help her she's gonna fall off her van Elephant vanilla. <laughs>
Heck yeah, dude. Substance. Oh, this is hot. Okay. Whew. That was <laughs> probably like, it's so crazy like to remember that we're back in the Bible Belt of things <laughs> and that we're gonna get judged. People are gonna like openly just say random things that honestly like are really, really rude. Very rude. And like those guys literally just said, oh, those girls are dangerous. And we're slowly learning that we very much so, well, actually it's not a slow learn. It's a pretty fast learn. Um, we stand out like sore thumbs. Like we, we just, we just stand out and we get stared at a lot. We get looked at a lot. It just took us probably like 20 minutes to check out just because like <laughs> this has been a very interesting adventure already all right Jane, I know you're tired. Okay. <laughs> had some candid shots there, though. Pushing Jane. Her hair out, so that was pretty. <laughs> She's tired. We got a few different ones of yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Want more water? No, come on. Take a drink. Drink, please. Drink it. Drink it. Now he just has a water stash. Did you see him? Oh, he's so cute. A little red tail. This is just insane. And this is so crazy. I wish that I could I'm get so drone footage, but it's so windy too. I'm really happy we came. Jane. Janey baby. Right as we get into the campground, 